and welcome yet again to another sensational episode of Adventures in Entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Jared, and this is the beautiful Captain Clay. Ahoy! <laughs> Clay, today we are talking, uh, we're continuing on about Napoleon Hill's success principles. Once again, 15 second brief recap, who is Napoleon Hill? Napoleon Hill was the personal assistant of Andrew Carnegie and the man who had a rare opportunity to interview the titans of industry. He interviewed Alexander Graham Bell, Thomas Edison, Rockefeller, J.P. Morgan, Henry Ford. Basically, the guys who ran the country in terms of capitalism and entrepreneurship, he interviewed these guys. He told them, they told him what, you know, how they did it. He condensed it into a book, and he became the speechwriter for FDR and helped get us out of the Depression. That's Napoleon Hill. Crazy. He's kind of a sick freak here. He is. All right. Today, talking about his uh, law number two, which is a definite chief aim. What is a definite chief aim? Well, I wrote you a little recap here, so I'm just going to read this to you because I, I, I definitely want to not miss any uh, nuances here. It says, it urges the reader to discover his or, her, his or her natural talents, then organize, coordinate, and put them into the, into the knowledge gained from experience. According to Hill, the main cause of failure is having no definite chief aim in life, or failure to set clear and attainable goals and plans to accomplish these goals. The keynote of this lesson is having a definite objective toward which to strive and never drifting aimlessly. Having this definite chief aim will affect the subconscious mind, thus leading toward the attainment of the objective. What he's saying is if you're on the side of the road, right here at 16th in Boston, you get your thumb up, looking to hitchhike, that's you. Somebody pulls over. You shouldn't do this, by the way, but somebody does. They pull over. Hey, man, where do you want to go? And you say, I don't know, just somewhere. Kind of weird, man. I'll just leave you here. And you keep driving. But if you can say, you know, I just need to go two blocks down there. It's a quick trip. That's where I need to go. I need to meet some, meet some homies there, buy some taquitos. You know, I'm going to a quick trip. Then someone's more likely to take you there. Um, if you had an investor, I got there I talked to. Seriously, to talk to this guy. And he's asking me my business goals. And I can tell him, my goal is to open a wedding mall in every city in the U.S. This is my plan. This is me. This is what I'm doing. This is my plan. Well, he has an opportunity to help contribute to that or help grow it. But if he asks, what are your business goals? And I'm like, yeah, there's things I want to do. I don't really know. We just want to be successful and do some stuff, you know, uh, you know, uh, be, be comfortable. What does that mean? How would he help me? You know, but if I can tell him specifically, I want to put a wedding mall in every city in the country with these five businesses. Okay, I get that. Now we can start talking. So the key is you have to know where you're going. And what's crazy about this is that like, you all wear a tie um, because I want to cover up my nastiness and look somewhat presentable uh, for you guys. I want to wear a tie to look, to look good, you know? But, and it's a lot of women dress up, they wear makeup, dudes will cut their hair. You, know, you got a wedding coming up on Friday. He's getting married on Friday, you got to be there. Don't even RSVP, just show up. <laughs> but anyway, no, but you, 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 you dress up and then, and then we go. But what happens is if you don't have a definite chief aim, you're all dressed up with nowhere to go. What's the point? Like, what's the point of going to college if you don't know what, you're, what you want to do with your life? I'm serious. If you're watching this and you don't, you're going to college and you don't know what you want to do, drop out. It's weak sauce. If you're running a business and you have no idea what your goal is in the business, get out of that thing. You've just got to know where you want to go. you got to know that stuff. You, you, you confuse people and annoy people if you don't know where you want to go. It's just, you, you become a person with no opinions, with no passion. with this. It's a bad deal. So you have to know where you want to go. Wow. Okay. 30 second recap. Send this off. What do you got, Clay? I'll tell you this, the majority of Americans, according to USA Today, I don't know the actual percentage, we'll just call it 80%, but it's, it's the majority of Americans, according to USA Today, a study they did a while back, do not have any idea what they want to get out of their life. They have no idea what their goals are, and they couldn't tell you what they want to do in the next 12 months. That's crazy talk. You do not want to be the majority. You want to be in the minority. You want to be in that rare group of individuals who know where you want to go. If I ask you, am I an elevator? Hey man, where do you want to go? You should be able to tell them. If I come up to you and I say, hey, secret millionaire, I've got a million dollars for you. What do you want to do with it? You need to be able to tell me right now what you want to do. You need to have that in your brain. You need to think about it all the time and post it somewhere where it's constantly in your, in your, in your mind where you see it. Put it on your dashboard. Put it on your mirror. Put it in your wallet. Put it uh, on your screensaver. Put it on your voicemail. Leave yourself voicemails. Bring yourself out. Send yourself an email. Crazy. Make sure that you... Put it somewhere where you see it all the time. And when you do that, it becomes a burning desire, and then you obsess about it. And when you obsess about it, you start to talk about it. And when you start to talk about it, people start to take an interest in it, thus they want to help you. It's weird, but like the universe kind of um, conspires to help you when you tell people what you, what you want to do and where you're going. 
But if you don't know what you want to do and where you're going, people will scatter. Alright, so know where you want to go or you won't get there. So there you have it. Any questions, comments, concerns, put them on our Facebook page, YouTube channel. Always, you can email Clay directly, clay at makeyourlifeepic.com. 